I look at Aston, we've got that by-election, uh, I think, what, 100 plus years before you've seen a, an opposition held seat go to the government. It's pretty tight from everyone I've spoken to. Peter Dutton, I think, quite rightly warned the party room that this uh, fight in Victoria over Moira Deemy is not helping their chances. I made the point, a wall-to-wall -wall coverage in the last 24 to 48 hours from the Victorian Liberal leader... Uh, arguing up Helen Down Dale why he had to do what he did to Deeming, uh, not, of course, coming clean with the fact that he was rolled in the party room. He did not get up his expulsion motion. Uh, she hasn't spoken. I have spoken to her. She says, I don't want to get in the way of the Aston by-election. Uh, the Electoral Commissioner, Tom Rogers, from the AEC, he's saying, look, it's been a really low-key campaign. They are worried about voter turnout. I think Victorians are fatigued by all of this. I'm sure that's the case. And, look, if there is low votes at turnout, certainly Labor people have told me that they think that is potentially good night nurse for them. But today's the first day that I've kind of thought the Liberals might lose this, and that's partly because of Peter Dutton's pronouncement in the party room, the fact they've got John Howard uh, so signing letters now saying vote for Rashina Campbell. I mean, that's turning into the death knell, unfortunately, for Mr Howard, you know, that they go to him when they're mm. in real trouble. And just the atmospherics are out around the place here, Peter, there's, there's, you're hearing a lot of talk about Liberals being concerned. And, of course, if you can just lose, you can just win. So who knows? It's on a knife edge. Labor polling at the start of the campaign had it about where it was at the election. No swing against the government, 2 to 3% margin. Will that be whittled away by the events in Victoria? Well, it would be pretty bad news for Peter Dutton if it was.